And we all know that Thanksgiving, what, just a little over a week away, and Bay Area Food Banks, they are really working hard just to make sure that everyone can have thanks around the traditional meal. That's right. Everyone deserves it. We at NBC Bay Area and Telemundo 48 are kicking off a Nourishing Neighbors food drive at local Safeway stores. Today in the Bay's Chris Sanchez, live from the Second Harvest Silicon Valley Warehouse in San Jose, to show us just how far that food bank can stretch every dollar it receives. And we know the need is even greater this year, Chris. Oh, absolutely, Laura and Marcus. You know, they actually had to add more warehouse space because the need is so great. The uh, food banks around the Bay Area are serving 80% more people than they did before the pandemic. I have Kat Svegnos here with us. Uh, and one in four people experiencing insecurity, and that's before the pandemic. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen the need go so high. When shelter in place happened, we were serving double the amount of people we were pre pandemic. And now we're still serving 80% more people every month than before the pandemic started. And that just tells you that folks are still struggling and need our help. And we know that, you know, you use money. Uh, donations are really handy, especially because of COVID. It's harder to process a turkey or a ham that maybe somebody wants to drop off. Absolutely. Like you said, we've added a fourth warehouse because we're serving so many more people. We're pushing out about 12 million pounds of food every month. And we can really stretch a dollar. Actually, all this produce behind us, we get for free. So think about that. We can do that with a dollar and if we can turn a dollar into two meals. All right, and let's talk about what you all helped us do through our Nourishing Neighbors Drive last year. Uh, this is how much you donated, $3 million, and that equaled out to 6 million meals because they can take your $1 and turn it into two meals. That's 12 million pounds per month. And a lot of the donations that roll in during this giving season really do stretch into the rest of the year. And a lot of the clients here are seniors and they are children who perhaps are not able to eat at school. So we know that the need is great. And we know that your peppermint mocha costs about $5. So for two peppermint mochas, you could actually serve 20 meals to families around the Bay Area. And that's good to put it into perspective like that. 80% more people that are needed yeah. as well. Uh, Yesterday I was driving and there was a woman, a homeless woman, holding a sign and she called out saying, hi Laura, hi Laura Garcia. And I was struck um, because it just shows you don't know who the face of the homeless are anymore. It's true. She at one point had a home. She was able to watch yeah. us on Today in the Bay and now she's on the streets. So it gives perspective of who well, are helping our neighbors here. It gives, yeah, it, it says two things. One, that you are a very kind person, and two, that people's circumstances changed very fast during this pandemic. And they tell us here at uh, Silicon Valley, that uh, 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 Second Harvest Silicon Valley, that they are seeing different faces, they are seeing newer faces, they are seeing families, they are seeing people who are working and still trying to struggle to make ends meet. I have to say that moment but really good on you, stuck Laura. with me. Well, no, you know, it, it just stuck yeah. with me because it just shows. Well, you're both lucky you crossed paths. Yeah, we this are. is true. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you so much. It's in giving that we receive. We yeah, say absolutely. That. And it reminds me of something you told me a long time ago. Now, I'm, I'm going to get to this in a minute, but you told me how one of your kids said one time, Mom, that was someone's kid or that is someone's child. Sure. You I, know when they see that? I do, because when I pass a homeless person, I always think, that was someone's baby. Yeah. Someone held that person. Once. Absolutely. So let's think about our neighbors and this nourishing neighbors food drive. Yeah, Laura and I are going to kick off the month long drive Saturday at River Mark Safeway in Santa Clara. And actually, we're going to be there with some of our NBC Bay Area and Telemundo 48 colleagues starting at 7 o'clock. So if you can, stop by, say hello, and make sure you donate. There you go.